Hey guys, this is Enrico with PragmaticReviews.com. Today we are going to pragmatically review Yoast SEO. Yoast SEO is the most popular SEO plugin for WordPress with 5 million active installations. That's a lot of installations actually. This plugin will help you to SEO optimize your blog posts and pages. If you don't remember what SEO is, I published a video a few days ago, so definitely check that video out. And like with any other WordPress plugin, we have to go to the WordPress plugins page and click on add new and then put Yoast SEO here. And here we go. Here is the Yoast SEO plugin. Here is where you will find the number of active installation. 5 million plus active installations. That's really impressive. So it's the most popular SEO plugin. I already installed it. If you don't, you have to install it and then click on active. And that's pretty much it to get it up and running. Okay, I'm here in the WordPress editor. Here is where we can see the Yoast SEO plugin. Here we you can enter the focus key phrase or keyword. Here you can see the snippet or the SEO snippet. And here you can see the analysis of the SEO. And this plugin divides the results in three main categories, problems, improvements, and good results. So it gives you an overview of your content and what are the improvements that you need to do, what are the problems, and what are the things that you are doing right. So here is the actual post, learn on page SEO in 2019. I selected SEO as the keyword and also Yoast SEO divides the SEO in general and the readability of the post. And here, for example, here is showing me two problems about consecutive sentences and transition words. So here there are a couple of recommendations on how to fix these uh, problems. Here it says for consecutive sentences, it says the text contain, contains four consecutive sentences starting with the same word. Try to mix things up. And here there is a link and here there are more information and why you shouldn't start sentences with the same words over and over. And there are some other readability uh, advice. Here are also transition words. Only 10.8% of the sentences contain transition words, which is not enough. And here there is another link with some more recommendations on transition words. So it's pretty good. It's a pretty good documentation and it provides you a very good advice to improve your SEO content. Okay, first let's fix some of these problems. Let's, uh, let's add some outbound links. Here is saying that no outbound links appear in this page at some, okay. So let's do that. Here I have the editor. I'm using Elementor to edit the pages. So I'm going to add um, some external link here. Let's say that I'm going to add the link to the Google mobile friendly test. Okay, then I'm going to add the external link here to the Google mobile friendly test. I'm going to click on save draft and I'm going back and I'm going to refresh this page to see if we removed the problem or not. Okay, we removed the problem. Now we have an outbound link to the Google mobile friendly test and we remove the first problem. Okay, let's work on fixing these improvements. 
So let's make some improvements on the SEO of our page. The meta description is over 156 characters. To ensure the entire description will be visible, you should reduce the length. Okay, so we are going to modify the meta description and we are going to replace the wording here. We are going to change the wording. We are going to say uh, this involves optimizing the web content to rank better for the search engines. And here we can see that there is no suggestion there about the meta description length. Okay, I'm going to save this post, this change on the meta description, and then I'm going to work on the next improvement. Uh, the exact match of the key phrase appears in the SEO title, but not at the beginning. Try to move it to the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to change the title in order to put the SEO keyword at the beginning of it. So let's do that. Let me change the title here. Okay. SEO training in 2019. Okay, I'm going to save draft and let's see if we still have that improvement recommendation. No, we don't have it anymore. So we fix it and doing that, we improved the SEO of the page. Okay, guys, this is all I have for today. Thank you for watching and I see you on the next video. Remember to like and subscribe.